What's going on, guys? You've heard this expression before. The fastest way to get rich is to get in real estate. And that's a product of the real estate marketing department. Typically, what I see is a lot of people get busted. I see a lot of people who go broke. I see a lot of people who have a lot of problems with real estate. And with real estate being the fastest way to get rich. Now, let's be 100% clear here. If you, at 30 years old, and you buy yourself a piece of real estate and you hold it for 30 years, that's going to put some money in your pocket. No doubt about it, because you've owned it for a long time, you've had it. But one of the things I'm consistently seeing is what I call real estate scams. Um, there's a guy running a commercial talking about how you can get a new way to get into real estate, a, a new way, a new way to get into real estate. And here's the thing. Let's say you have a piece of real estate, right? And you want to buy it. Now, there is a multitude of ways to buy real estate today. There's a ton of ways to buy. There's subject to, there's owner financing. There, there's a lot of ways for you to get into a piece of real estate. However, I am a math guy. If you didn't know, I did really, really well in math. Trigonometry and all that. I did really, really well in so when I look at a business opportunity, I always look at the math. And this is something I have been saying, and literally you have dozens of people. And I was listening to Bigger Pockets podcast, or I think, and there was a lady on there. And she was talking about they make $200,000 a year income. Guess how many properties that they own just take a wild guess a wild guess because that's what you got to do to make some serious earning money with real estate and did you guess did you put it in the comments did you what i want you to do is to sit back and to think what would your life look like if you were living exactly how you wanted to live I want you to think if you were living in the house that you wanted to live in, you were driving the car that you wanted to live in, you were married or in a relationship with the person that you wanted to be in, in a relationship with. I'm here to tell you that's all powerful. That's all possible. The power of persistence, a bold guide to achieving your goals, will help you get there. But that's not all I have for you. What I want you to do is to go ahead and get yourself involved in the Corporate Citizen Playbook training. I have a goal to create 50,000 corporate citizens. What is a corporate citizen? A person who has an income of $250,000. That in the United States of America makes you rich. That's the beginning. And this is what this whole curriculum is designed to help you get there. First of all, teach you everything that you need to know about setting up a corporate relations, setting up the structure, the LLC, the holding companies, the operating companies, teach you how to get six-figure business lines of credit, teach you how to set up a company, teach you how to set up an operating company, teach you all of these things that you currently don't know. So here is where this even gets better. First of all, right now I am building out the Corporate Citizen Playbook training. It's going to take me some time because it's going to be a pretty large course. During that phase, when I'm building that out, you can get in at an extreme discount. And whether you go ahead and do the one and done or do the payment plan, you lock yourself in to get all of the training that is coming. Next month, we're gonna be talking about how to make money, how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. That's gonna be probably July. And if you go ahead and lock in today, where you would go below, watch the video, you would get into the description, or it will be in the comments section, where you can go ahead and do a one and done, or do the payment plan, and use the promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, to get this extreme discount that's gonna lock you in to all of the training that's about to go down in 
in 2023. So once again, go below the video, it'll be in the description or it'll be in the comment section where you can go ahead and get in on this new training. Do you have a clue to how many properties this married woman, her, her husband and her children own? They own 59 properties. And what they have done is they found a credit union to finance these properties. So they're in $5.5 million worth of debt on these 59 properties, which tells me that a lot of these properties are cheap. Once again, just do the math, 59 properties into 5.9 million, the vast majority property. But see, th this is the thing for you to make money in real estate. You need a lot of properties, you know, to have one or two, unless you're in a very situational position where you can have 10 rental properties and make a million dollars a year. That would be exceptional. That wouldn't be the norm. And one of the things that I consistently saw, and, and it never impressed me when I saw it, was you buy a piece of real estate, stick a renter in there, have the renter pay your mortgage, and then you cash flow 150 to 400 bucks per month. I, I have a friend who's in real estate and her numbers are very, very different because, you know, I, I spoke about her. She only bought trash properties. If there wasn't something really wrong with the property, she didn't want nothing to do with it because this is how she got these properties really, really cheaply. And typically her properties, she would get her properties so cheap that her first three properties, and she also had a very high income job that plays a role. She paid cash for her first three properties and got them renovated and fixed up. And she completely owned her first three properties, which I think if I remember, she was telling me back in the day, they were cash flowing at about 3,500 bucks per month, but she didn't have a mortgage on it. All she had to have was property insurance and pay property taxes. And following her creed, she's got 25 properties now, 20 of them are paid off, which is key, which is key. This is something that you just do not see a lot of real estate people talking about. And I think she's making like $50,000 a month between all her properties. She has five properties that still have mortgages on them, but the vast majority of that 50,000 per month goes into her pocket minus, well, actually, you know, she, she has a very unique situation because she's in real estate. She has a lot of tax allowances and depreciations. I mean, it's, it's insane, but you, you hear that. And the next thing that you hear is a quick way to get rich. And I will admit if you can buy crypto at the right time, and if you can sell it at the right time, you can make a lot of money. And typically the people who are doing crypto, cause I was watching the guy and he says he does about 10,000 a month from crypto. And you know, he said the crypto markets are kind of crazy, but that's one way. And interestingly enough, watching this guy, the majority of his money has come from business. It didn't come from crypto. It didn't, you know, he made like 10,000 from crypto. He made like 8,900 from real estate. But the bulk of his money came from business. And I'm talking about the six figures, 120, 130, 372,000. And that brings us up to the fastest way to get rich in the United States of America today is to start a successful business. And typically when you start a successful business, this opens the door for you to create a lot of income for yourself. Now, if you don't believe me, I come here prepared. I come here prepared. Go to Forbes and look up the 25, 2600 richest people on the planet 
and you will see business after business after business after business until you get to Warren Buffett and that's everyone's favorite investor. Let me go ahead and put this in front of you and let me know in the comments how do you feel. Warren Buffett buys complete companies. Berkshire Hathaway owns Geico. So is Warren Buffett truly an investor or Warren Buffett is a corporate icon that goes out and buys complete businesses and holds on to them and makes a lot of money from this business which they own. Because, you know, every time you have this conversation, well, Warren Buffett's an investor. He's like the only one on the list. <laughs> He's the only one on the list, right? And everyone else it has a business and runs businesses and conglomerates. And, you know, I want you to think about this. There are 2,600 people on that list and 99% of them have a business, but you're going to point to the one person, the one person on the list. Well, he's an investor. He's an investor. As if that you can do exactly what Warren Buffett does. And if you want to do it, you could, because everything he's done has been documented that you could become a billionaire. Um, the plain bagel and Dave Ramsey have said that you can become a millionaire through investing, but the chances of becoming a billionaire are very, very not happening. So, you can go ahead and look at everything that Warren Buffett has done. Look at what he's done and just copy his moves and you still will not be worth the money he's making because Warren Buffett's at a point where he's buying complete and other businesses, which makes him more of a corporate titan than quote, an investor. And you know, with this whole notion of, I'm an investor, baby. I just sprinkle a little hustle dust over here and it brings back some dollars, right? Um, you know, for the record, I am not an investor. I, I, I'm not an investor. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I'm not an investor. Nothing that I have been able to do beats the returns of businesses. I'll give you an example. 2009, I started selling my book, Making Money Easy with Substorger and Auctions. And within three years, that business became a seven figure business. Here's the thing I only invested maybe, because I, I have a hard time remembering it, because I would go out and buy stuff for the business. So, that in terms is an investment, but at the most, at the most, I invested $5,000 in that business that ended up making seven figures in year three without any more reinvestments. And this is one of the reasons that starting a business is the fastest way to get rich in the world, not just America, but the world. And unless you have a corporate tech business, at the moment, chat GPT is burning through a ton of money because for to make chat GPT work, they have to buy vast computer power, which ain't cheap, which, which is not cheap. So unless you're our Uber, I think Uber, I don't have my phone on me, but I think Uber has made a profit. I don't know if Lyft has made a profit. I think DoorDash has made a profit because, you know, we're, we're about to take a little detour. <coughs> DoorDash, Lyft, and um, Uber, I think there's one of the greatest pimp stories of all times because Uber, 
DoorDash, Lyft has convinced people, hey, buddy, got a deal for you. If you utilize your own car and you drive for us, you can make some money. Uber, DoorDash, Lyft, they don't have insurance costs. They don't have maintenance costs. All that falls back on the defunct Uber, Lyft, DoorDash driver. And to me, it's one of the greatest pimp games of all time. Airbnb, more pimping. Hey, hey, buddy, come here. I want you to use your house to let strangers stay in. And we're going to make you, we're going to break you off a little bread. Just a little bit. We're going to break off a little bread. You know, these template businesses are huge, massive, multi-billion dollar conglomerates because we're about to get into the real reason that making money from a business is the fastest way to get rich. And we're going to use these template businesses as a reason why most people who get into the template business are not rich. How to find customers. This is the reason people go to eBay. This is the reason people go to Etsy. This is the reason people do Toro. This is the reason people go to Airbnb. This is the reason people go to Lyft. This is the reason people go to DoorDash. This is the reason people go to uh, Uber. Because all of these platforms have invested billions into the acquisition of customers. Now, I'm going to tell you something here. And I'm going to kind of go back in time and I'm going to explain something to you. So pay attention. When I learned how to get new customers, and it was a process because number one, the best lead source for businesses that were about to move was very expensive. It was called CoStar. In the second, that was the second best. It was very expensive. And the first best example of people or resource of people moving was commercial real estate agents who were really, really kind of squirrely to deal with. And this is what I did. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. I had myself a contingency of 10 commercial real estate brokers that I befriended. I didn't just have a business relationship. No, 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 no. That wasn't enough. We used to go to lunch. Uh, one dude, we used to play basketball. Uh, I friended these guys. I probably spent five or six hours a week hanging out with these guys. I created a friendship. And then through the process of creating that friendship, I created an ample lead resource. And that one thing, friending these commercial real estate brokers on a, you know, let's, let's go to lunch maybe catch a Falcons game, maybe go to a basketball game. These became my boys. My business transformed because I could get the proper leads. And I'm telling you guys something here. If you can figure out how to get customers for whatever, whether you have an e-commerce brand or your your Etsy, what, what, whatever you whatever you're doing, if you can figure out how to get customers, that is going to literally transform your business. And this is where so many people run into a problem. And I'm seeing some stuff because I'm getting ready to buy some training. Yes, I sell courses, but guess what? I also buy and take courses. And one of the things that has to happen with social media is you have to have broad reach to get customers. And, you know, it's kind of funny. I'm seeing a lot of people sell the concept of getting customers, creating customers through 
this um, social media and not buying ads. However, I can tell you from personal experience that when you get your customers from social media, it, it goes up and down. It's just not consistent. And I know people who buy ads that their stuff is way more consistent than mine. So, you know, it really depends on what you want to start, what you want to do, how you want to do it, because the online education business is becoming a trillion dollar business and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. And I can tell you from personal experience that when you start a business and when you learn how to find customers and we learn how to sell customers and when you learn how to get customers and you learn how to create a proper resource for your business, it becomes amazing. It becomes a different thing. It becomes something special. It becomes something powerful. And one of the things that you will see is a radical transformation of your financial resources. You will see a radical transformation of the money that you're able to get from the money that you're able to build from the situations that you're able to create because um, I'm the product of a single mother from a poor household that didn't have indoor plumbing, and I was able to go out, get a lot of knowledge, get a lot of knowledge, and literally transform myself, transform my business, transform everything that I have done into an incredible lifestyle because starting a business in America is the fastest way to get rich. It's the fastest way, the fastest way. Now, I know there's a lot of people who don't want to do the work and this, this is something that I have seen. There are many people who do not want to do the work. They don't want to work, they don't want to sell. I've literally seen commercials where you don't have to deal with customer service, you don't have to deal with questions, you don't. It's just like the elements and the critical components of a business. It's like, oh, that's such a hassle. We don't want to deal with that. We just want to get this money. I saw this one commercial where it's like, all we do is collect money. We don't deal with customer service. We don't deal with it. We just collect them a check. And I'm just sitting here like, this is interesting. So if I have someone who's doing a commercial closing for me, and I'm just going to be me. And I was running a proper business. And this person actually sold a product that we had to do a refund. Guess what's going to happen? Next month after they sell some more stuff, they're not getting the check. That would be in the contract. That would be in the contract because I find it hard to believe that these guys who have these high ticket courses, these high ticket products, and they're hiring these closers do not have that and I, I just don't believe that they have that because you know how much money they can lose so it's like hey you just sell it and we're gonna we're gonna take the hit if they do a re, a, re, a chargeback we're gonna take the hit it, it, it makes no sense it makes no sense but this is some of the foolishness that you will see with people in the business arena that are talking about doing all of these things without a proper protocols because um, it's interesting. It's very... Right now, there are a number of people on YouTube who are advertising how to build business credit. If you go ahead and enroll in the Money Mindset Program, which teaches you how to manage your money for free, you will learn how to build business credit for free. Do you understand that you can go out, set up a new LLC, get an EIN, set up a business checking account, and go to a number of credit card issuers and banks and build yourself a hundred to a hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of business credit within 90 days 
I got it all in this course. I teach you how to do it step by step. So go ahead and get the Money Mindset Program today. The links is going to be in the video description and they will often be in the comments. So either way you can find it. And once again, this course is 100% free. It's fast, it's easy, it's quick to the point, and it's things that you need to do to go ahead and learn how to manage your money. I feel that money management is a critical component to success. And this is why I am giving you this course. There's no charge, I'm not charging you today. I'm not gonna charge you tomorrow, there will be no fee. You can go ahead, enroll in this money management course and start learning the tools that you need to be financially literate to get your personal credit, get your credit, cre your credit card credit and all this other stuff straight where you can be a financially sufficient and on point person. Go ahead and enroll today. Once again, the enrollment is free. It's going to be in the video description or it'll be in one of the comments. So my name is Glendon Cameron and I will see you guys in the next one. Very interesting what we will see, what we will have happen, what we will become a participant in and what we will do to create a situation, create some income, create pathology here. So one of the things that I want to talk about that's very, very important is training. I was trained how to create a sales system. And part of the training included how to go out and find customers to put into your pipeline. What's a pipeline? A pipeline is, let's go ahead and say, beginning of the month, you have 100 people who have a valid use case for your product. You have these 100 people and you put them into a system. And as you go through the pipeline, and there, these people will be in various situations. You have some people who will need your product immediately. Then you have some people who will need your product a little later on. And as you put them through this funnel, you sort them out. <clears throat> and I remember, I had this client that I called, and they were supposed to move. And I called the guy, and he says, yeah, but the move's been put off. We're not going to move for at least a year. And at that point... What I heard was, we are not going to need your product anytime soon. And that's what I said. So you're not going to need what we sell anytime soon. So if you don't mind, I want to just stay in contact with you once a month just to see if things change, if you need to do things. And he said, that's fine. So I would call this guy once a month. And I called him six months in a row. In the seventh month, guess what? We're moving. We're moving. And then I go in. And I, because I had developed a relationship with this guy, because I didn't like, well, you don't want our product right now. Oh, you're the devil. You're evil. Ah, I didn't do any of that. I treated him with the utmost respect and I put him in the funnel where he needed to be because once again, going to my sales mentor, we need sales tomorrow. We need sales today. We need sales next month. We need sales next week. We need sales next year. So a sale that can come a year from now will be extremely valuable to you a year out. And this is one of the things. Everybody wants to just put stuff out and sell it, sell it, sell it. Um, like with me, with this corporate citizen playbook. I got people who are listening to the content right now and they're not convinced and they're not gonna buy. They're gonna probably buy next month or the month after. But because I have to nurture that relationship, I have to keep putting stuff out, I keep, can keep talking to them, I will convince these people. And what you will get out of this as you create this sales process is a valuable business because uh, one of the trainings that I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be a book and it's gonna be a training, how to seduce the customer. Uh, that is probably gonna be some of the most important training because let me, let me, let me explain something to you. Once you learn how to get customers, you become the incredible Hulk. You become the Fantastic Four. You become whoever is superhero. You, you become a superhero. Because once you learn how to get customers and create customers and create sales processes, you become a very tough person to deal with. Really, really tough. 
So that's one of the things that we're going on. We got going on. I want you to sign up for the money management course. I want you to sign up for the corporate citizen toolbox where we're getting into corporate citizen training where we're getting into some finer stuff, where we're getting into some impressive stuff that's going to help you start your company, start your holding company. Uh, we have the hidden company, how to have a hidden company. And today we're going to get into the setup of your holding company and the products and all these other things that you will need to set up your holding company to get business credit. Man, the things I can tell you about getting six-figure business credit is amazing because here's something that you didn't know. All banks don't do it the same way. All banks don't do it the same way. And I will say something that I'm not saying do this, but <clears throat> there's one bank, they ask you for your tax returns and they do not pull up a 4506-C. So this explains, because there's a show, uh, The Chrisleys, where they went to jail for filing false documents to the bank. And I was like, so all banks do not actually go to the Internal Revenue Service and check your actual taxes. So I'm saying if you are a less scrupulous person, you could phantom, get some phantom loans, get some phantom loans. And I would not recommend that because it could come back on you. Because typically, if you go out and get a loan using fake documents and the bank finds out, they will charge you. Now, if you go out and get a loan and you actually pay it back, the bank is going to give you more money. It's kind of crazy how that works. So go ahead, get into the corporate citizen playbook today. Use promo code JUMP. Using promo code JUMP. It's going to give you a discount and it's going to put you in a position to get all of the stuff that I'm going to create from now until pretty much the end of the year. And you can get a whole lot of training. And what's really cool is because the way that the training is happening, you can get the training and you can actually go through it as it's being developed. So this allows you to stay relevant and to stay on point with the training so links in the description and it'll be in the comment section my name is glendon cameron now guys i will see you in the next video